This morning we have our segment, Today's Finances. We have Barbara and Tressa here. Thank, thank you so much for being here. And we're talking about the eight <coughs> things that baby boomers should never, never do, do with, their, with their, money. their money. Okay, That's tell exactly us a little right. bit about that. Well, the first thing we would say is don't buy the fear that media often sells. You know, if you, if you really get into the fear a syndrome, then you're going to start making moves that are unwise when it comes to finances. You'll stop remembering to buy low and sell high, and you'll just sell out at the bottom of the market and go back in when it's up. This reminds me at the very beginning of the crash. Everybody in our 401k meetings and stuff were saying, should we get out? Should we get out? But really, it's like, no, you shouldn't. So yes, I understand that's that right. Uh, and if you have lost some money in the last bear market, don't double up on the risk in order to try and make it back. Mm -hmm. That's like a gambler doubling down. Just, you know, get a good plan that helps you reach your long-term goals and then stick with it okay. don't verify don't don't get away from it another thing that we tell our clients all the time is do not finance your child's education with your retirement savings oh. if you do that you will not be able to finance your retirement mm -hmm. help them get the loans help them get the scholarships help them get grants and maybe internships but do not spend your retirement savings on their college education you will live to regret it okay and last but not least in, on my side, don't give your retirement savings to somebody to manage who just got in the business. Oh, Find okay. a veteran who has a proven track record helping people such as yourselves. Mm -hmm. um, they've gone through the bear markets, they've gone through bull markets, they know how to behave, and they've got nerves of steel. And new people don't often have that kind of that's really great advice, especially <sighs> for advisors to yeah. say that. Absolutely. Okay, tell us a little uh, bit more. Uh, never invest blindly without a true plan. So a lot of people have a financial planner, but they have not had a financial plan done. Mm -hmm. So you should never have a dime of your money invested unless there, there is a plan and you know exactly what that, that investment is going to do for you and how it's going to fit your uh, objectives. Okay. Uh, secondly, it's not good to invest money to friends or relatives mm -hmm. because pretty soon you'll lose your friend and you'll probably lose your money as, as well. Um, be smart with your inheritance. Um, if you get a large inheritance, it's best to set it up in a separate account, probably not jointly, and that depends greatly on your family situation. Mm -hmm. If you set it up jointly and it's a second marriage and you predecease your spouse, uh, that money could go where it could become part of the settlement. Okay. So be smart with your inheritance. And lastly, uh, don't buy the old story of buy and hold. While Barbara explained it's, it's important not to panic, mm -hmm. uh, it's also important when you set up your investment rather than just throwing it in an age-based type of investment to know what return you expect. Now, if you're expecting more than 5 to 7% over the long term right now, you know, get a clue. Okay. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. <laughs> but um, uh, you don't buy and hold and you're in an investment that isn't giving you the return that you want. So okay. you have to constantly revisit that every few months. And with, with these eight is. rules and you say baby boomers, like what age group are you really talking to here? The baby boom generation. So if you're, what, uh, late 40s to you know, into your 60s. Okay. Ten years before retirement, you know, that's when you mm -hmm. really have to start making sure that you've got the money there mm -hmm. to finance a 30-year retirement. Absolutely. We're all living a lot longer, mm -hmm. so... Um, but it's never too early to get wise about your finances. That's right. Well, if, if anybody has any questions, they can definitely contact you guys. But we'll also have this video on our Facebook page as well where you can go over the eight steps. Really great information. Thank, Thank you, you so much, so much. For being here. Let's send it back.